today, crazy day of court. All right, I'm gonna do a quick video about this. I was in court today and I found myself in the same courtroom as rapper Takashi69. Close with some of the guards in there, so they let me know, yo, 6 ix in the building, there's an arraignment going on, you might wanna check. The lawyer came up there and he said, yo, they're trying to deny bail saying that 6 9 is a threat. But really, what happened in this case is that on Friday, the feds came to 6 9 and they said to him that he should come into custody for protection because there's threats on his life. So 6 ix lawyer was making an argument that my client's not the threat. The feds admitted that the threat is actually on 6 ix ix life. And so he should get bail. He's not, he's not a threat to the community. When the judge confronted the feds over that information, the feds explained why they believe there was a threat on 6 ix ix life. And they said they had a wiretap up on some, some of the people that 6 ix ix was working with, some of the other defendants in this case. And those people, the ones who 6 ix ix fired, um, had indicated on that wiretap, you know, text messages and calls that they were going to go get 6 ix 9 um, The feds actually quoted what was said, and they say, yo, we're going to violate this guy. We're going to, quote, super violate him. So hashtag super violate, man. That's, that was real crazy when I heard that. Some of the other crazy stuff we heard, we heard about how much people got in their bank accounts. Um, Shadi was in there, and Shadi was getting arraigned, and they discussed how much he had in his account, and they put it out there that he has 60000 in his account. 6 ix 9s accounts uh, had $1.7 million. His lawyer offered to put every penny up. And bail still got denied, which was crazy. I, I saw six nines head. You know, right before the judge was, um, right before the judge was about to give his verdict. You know, the thing went on for about forty minutes, and the judge kind of sat there quietly. And he was thinking about it, thinking about all the arguments he had just heard. And the whole courtroom fell silent. And I saw six nine kind of dip his head down, kind of like he was in prayer. And then when the judge uh, started talking, he was listening very closely, and, and like he was in prayer. And then when the judge uh, started talking, he was listening very closely. And, and then I just saw the look on his face when the judge denied bail, man. He was, he was heartbroken. Interestingly, you know, when 6 9 walked in that courtroom, uh, he was shivering. He was shook. He was really scared. He looked like he had been shivering probably the whole time that he's been locked up and holding. Uh, heart goes out to the kid, man. I hope, I hope uh, he can get through this crazy day in court. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to try to get you all some more updates on that case. You know, I'm actually going to be in the Eastern District of New York where El Chapo's trial is going on. So I might even get an update on that. Outlaw of Workers, we're not just talking about unpaid overtime.